Hi Evelyn, I wanted to get you some answers for your project. First, how many of your events are corporate versus private and personal? I would say about 80% of the events we do are personal weddings. That's going to be changing because I've been doing it for almost two decades. And the corporate events that we do are by word of mouth. Typically, it starts with a wedding, though. What are the most common types of corporate events you have worked on? We don't really do anything that's common. We often work on very special projects. Some of the corporate events that we've done in the past have had to do with healthcare. I have a my background is in healthcare, and so I have a great relationship with the hospitals and the physicians. So specifically, it was for narcolepsy. I grew up in the Catholic church, and we did a Catholic diocese conference. So it just really depends. I do a lot in technology. There's all types of events. How many people typically attend these events? I would say anywhere from 200 to 1,000. Again, it really just depends. Every event we do is very custom. It's very unique. What's the typical budget? Again, it's completely custom to that client and to that conference or wedding or special event. We treat everyone the same as far as the process goes, but where people spend their money is very unique based on their personality and the outcome and the feeling that they want to create for that event. It can range anywhere from $50,000 to well over a million dollars. And those are the range of the budgets that we see. Usually, whenever someone's hiring a professional event planner, they're going to be making a, an investment, and so they really see the value of paying a professional planner. A normal timeline for creating an event from initial meeting to actual date, typically a year, um, but recently, over the last year, I would say even for weddings, people actually plan things very last minute. Um, in fact, today we're working on an event that we've planned in, I think, eight days for an adoption party, and we did their wedding and planned it in 20 days. So, but a normal timeline typically is about a year. How often are you asked to find entertainment for the event? 99.9% um, .9 of the time, we do live in Nashville Music City, USA. And the challenge that we face is dealing with a lot of different types of people that are in the entertainment industry, but their level of professionalism and their level of experience is very different. So we are very particular in who we work with on the DJ side and on the band side as far as in what types of entertainment. Most of our clients want a band, but they also like to have a DJ for the after party. And I would say often more than not, they have eight to ten pieces with a full horn section, a male and a female, male and female vocalist, so that the set list is much larger. The less common types of entertainment, I would say like, for example, we had a client that was, their first date was watching the movie Forrest Gump. And we knew a Forrest Gump impersonator. So we got him to come during dinner and walk around with like his briefcase and talk about his box of chocolate. So it was kind of funny. And the guests totally got it. Do people usually have a set entertainment budget? Not really. Um, it really just depends on where that falls in the priority category. And we don't do a percentage of the budget for entertainment. Again, every client is different. Some people just want a speaker and an iPad plugged in with a Spotify list, which is actually what we're doing this weekend. So it really varies, but a normal entertainment budget, I would say most of our clients having larger bands, I would say is at least $6,000 and up. And that doesn't really include all of the overall needs. So having a stage, a backdrop, a green room, 
um, if they need to eat, which we always have to feed them. Have you ever had an original song written for an event? Yep, absolutely, all the time for the cinematography, the videos, for the first dances. Again, living in Music City, USA, um, we have a lot of talented songwriters here in Nashville, and I have heard of companies that provide services like this. I've probably been working with them for about 10 years now. And how many of our past clients would be interested in this type of service? Um, I would say 80%. If it's something that we pitch to them and they're really into music, which some of our clients are and some aren't, um, I think it's something that they would definitely be interested in and they have us add it in the spreadsheet, a line item. But, um, you know, it's not something that typically people ask us. It's just like welcome bags. We typically ask our clients these things, but they don't always know to ask for it. I hope this was helpful and good luck with your project. Have a great night. Bye.